So the Knights are just trying their best to hang on, and they want to keep every single member up alive here towards the end. It's going to be a little bit easier said than done, though. They're going to have to make some plays to get out of this one, even though it's a 4v2. Talk about the angles from Ghost. Free fire. Back to that. She Wong, AKM, lean peak right there, able to connect onto one of the Knights. HQA performing this perfectly. What is going on? HQA are just outplaying the Knights. Two versus four, picking every single Ooh. one apart. What a beautiful. I mean, that is literally an S tier style push. Ghost Gaming, Nova, two of the top teams in the lobby. They're still up. And look at those beautiful shots from Spec. Barely just using that angle, shooting through the grass, basically. Nova in desperate trouble. Only one up remaining, and it is only Rin. Yeah, it's up to Rin. Looks like Rin was able to toss out some smokes to allow HZL to crawl back, but Ghost Gaming are not going to allow this one as looks like Tommy Gun Tensa swapping that out for Uzi this game. Uzi. Looking to get the confirms. Uzi claps and he's looking to get it on here. This is what's this is why Ghost Gaming is so good. They know when to turn on the aggression, but at the same time, oh, they, that, that knock made it a little bit scarier for them, but they did get that shut down. So level X, top two game. Oh my goodness. I mean Hey, crystal ball. I mean three yeah, three kills, thirteen points at least minimum. If they're able to get some more kills in the chicken dinner, that would be huge. Shanu is down, so now it's just Beastex. Beastex, can he do it? 1v3 versus Ghost. It's going to be very, very unlikely because Ghost have 12 kills. Oh, he stood up. His position's gone. They're going to 3v1 him. So, yeah, Beastex going to have to pull off a little bit of a miracle here. We have seen we have seen some pretty insane things in the past. No, nah, but, yeah, Ghost, way too prepared for that. They're not going to allow that to happen. That's Ghost Gaming. Hey, Seven Worlds Gaming. You ain't the only seven here in the house now. As Ghost Gaming has seven chicken dinners, seven thousand dollars in the bank, Dave. Just like that. Ran gonna be tossing a grenade. Meanwhile, Fanboys is in the smokes. Yeah, that was my fear. Ran tossing a grenade. Gonna be taking down their squad mate. But another one ran up. coming in clutch at the end. I mean, you had to do it after taking down your teammate. You might, you gotta make sure you get the squad. Oh, that's <laughs> spotted. Oh, my fate. Oh, no. You know, Rad was like, that's right, baby. 19 E Carnage gave all their Carnage power to Carnage Double E. That's a fact. And right now, Carnage Double E still in it to win it. Down here to the south. It's five. That's all that's on his mind. Is Batman. Batman. Batman or Carnage? Who's better? Carnage, it's gonna be Carnage! But guess what? Goodbye. Bounce nade from Bayo. Yeah, he's gonna go out to blue here. For sure. Everybody wants Rin though. Everybody's looking on top of Rin. There goes issue to the blue zone. Now it's up to Brain. Also getting chunked out from blue. the blue zone. Rin, second place? Question mark. Oh, be mind himself. themselves. <laughs> no gaming, baby! Two thousand dollars in today alone. Revenge, definitely that low key player right here that could play spoiler on the push. Rafino does catch Poppy's off angle. So there's revenge on the other side. He's going to have the right spot here if he can hit those, and he does. So that's two down from the Panthers. This gonna be, has to be a full send from his exes. Yeah, here comes their Ooh. aggression. Fox goes down, and now it's just one remaining member. The Panthers from outside of the zone getting gate kept like crazy. Mazexis executing this perfectly. Find the last member. There goes Legal. RIP the Panthers. And they're going to have to hold it down against JCR. We've seen them do a 2v4 in the past. AZ is the one to look at. And he gets two. Can he get the last one? HQA, AZ, putting the team on his back right now. G3 was not with them, was kind of separated from this fight. So let's see, can G3 pull up and provide the support to SOFM, who is definitely calling for an SOS right here in this situation? G1 looks like a beautiful nade. Oh, it does piece him up to half HP. He's going to be throwing another one right at the same direction. Is that one going to be the one to hit it? Oh, down to one HP, but oh, the health, the HP. Bouncing right back up because his health kit ends up going off at the same time. But here comes Shiwan with a full send. G3 nading his own teammate. We've seen this strat before. It worked out in the past. 
but I don't think it's going to work out for G3 here. Because he's going to try to go get this res on a Nemesis. And HQA, man, they are hungry for these kills, and they need them. Yeah, this is risky. That one smoke not providing the best uh, cover. Same could be said with that tiny little baby boulder as they're going to be making the push. G3 Snake getting the aggressive with the Uzi. But Sixless getting up close to personal with X set right here. And, and Sixless going against Juicy, his old teammate slash roommate. Who's going to win this one? Out as Nico's doing some great pre fire. Sixless leading the way. Gets the two piece, baby. And he's going for the triple. It's just Juicy, his old friend. Can he take him out? Can Juicy hold it down? No, sir. Sixless said, see y'all. That was so good. I mean, Spec right there, that was so good. Just crawling up there on top of Dior. And now, three, V, one. AZ popping up. Trying to go out for that last hurrah. And oh, it's he's going to blue. see you later. Deny the point. Second place right there for HQN. Ghost Ooh. Gaming. Back to back to back. Check in dinners. Giving a new definition to the term party crasher because everybody's going to be crashing that compound. And it comes down to trying to clear out your side of the circle before you make the send because you do not want to get backfilled. You do not want to get backstabbed. The key is to make sure that when you're pushing in, you only have to deal with the opponents that are right in front of you. And that's what Xset's looking to do right now. Taking it to the squad that's here. It's level X in their sights. One after another like dominoes getting absolutely demolished. Again. 2v4. 2v4 for Ghost Gaming. Can they do it? Lazarus slamming in. That's one player down. Six is knocked down. Both players of... Ghost Gaming up. Oh, Spec trying to readjust his position. Goes down. Tensa and a 1v2. Gets one. 1v1 situation. No, Tensa has a smoke out in hand. That is... Oh, he could have clutched that. I think that was just Oops. a fat finger mistake. But that was so close. 2v4 for Ghost Gaming. They did not... Win that one now. It all comes down to the execution. The final push is the two members of Xset are moving in. Their grenades are going off. Rain and a potential 1v2. And Telly just looking to play spoiler. Looking to come in and clean it up when the damage is done. Rin going in. Gets dropped. The beautiful double peak. Nova Esports out in third. And now it's a 2v1. Telly prime in the grenade. Looking to send that one in. It does go off. But now position may have been compromised. They know exactly where this is. And Xset. Looking to just put the nail in this coffin. Trying to find the kill. Trying to find the rotation. Telly is here. He's dodging. Looking for the shots. And he cannot find them. Instead, Xset finds the chicken dinner. So Xset, you know, looking a little bit weaker and not able to take this position. They're still going to try and take it, though. Juicy oh. Overwatch player going down. That's the most critical player on a push, the Overwatch. Once the Overwatch goes down, it gives Lazarus the green light to go super aggro on the players that pulled up. And it's all down to J7. And there we go. Lazarus looking so strong and in commanding positions with Sixless IGLing this, this last super weekend. They are looking really, really good. It's a 2v1, v1 situation, and the Knights are going to go aggressive here. Alucard, this actually works out for Koops, and Alucard goes down. Now it's a 1v1, v1 situation. And oh, this is one of the legal popping up. This is it. 1v1, v1. This is the Koops. moment. Solitude is there, and here comes the snake. Oh, let's go. It's not a snake. It's a shark pouncing on the prey. And legal's out in the blue. First aiding through. Got four. Let's go. And Koops. Oh, he did it. it. Enigma fan club with the chicken dinner. Coops, the ultimate stealth play out in the oh. water. Everybody thought it was clear. They didn't see the no swimming sign. And even if there was, Coops was ignoring it.